Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for Rutek so finally paranoid android team made available their stable build for the nothing phone 1 actually this build was released on the 17th feb 2023 but because of busy schedule i was not able to create the review video of that build but now i flash it flashing process is same like old video you can check that from the icard today in this video i am gonna show you what are the new changes i found in comparison with the old beta update i tested all the old bugs are they fixed in this build or not i did full performance test with the comparison with the old build finally i shown bugs still present in this build so watch the video till the end now without further ado let's get started on the new adventure So we booted to the stock Paranoid Android launcher, now let's jump to the bot phone. Here now it's showing the Paranoid Android version as a Topaz 1. You will not get any beta tag here. That means it's a stable update now. In the Android version it's the same Android 13 build with the Matrix clock asterisk. Security patches of 5th Feb 2023. Old build was on the January security patches. Kernel version is 5.4.226. But the old build was based on the kernel version 5.4.210. The kernel is builded with the Qualcomm's latest Linaro toolchain. Build date of ROM is 17th Feb 2023. The amazing part of Paranoid Android ROM is that its performance. And the performance in this new build is improved a lot. Device will run on adaptive 120Hz mode. Means when device screen is not in use. That means we are not touching the screen, it goes down to the 60 hertz, but as soon as we touch the screen, it rises up to the 120 hertz. But if we enable the force 120 hertz toggle, available under the display setting, screen FPS remains 120 hertz. But some applications are exceptions like the camera, here screen FPS remains on the 60 hertz all the time. ROM is absolutely stunning while carrying day-to-day -day activities. It never slows down the device even during the heavy and multiple tasks are running in the background. It fades more smoother than the butter this time. So let's check out the Geekbench test. In the first attempt I got the score of 927 and 2846 for the single and multi-core respectively. I felt it is slightly lower than the old version so I repeated the test and I got the score of 817 and 2990. If you check the old beta 1 topaz build, there we got the score of 824 and 3015. So negligible difference we got here between this table and beta builds. Multicore performance of this ROM is higher than any custom ROM out there for the nothing phone one. Next we did the OpenGL graphics API test and I got the score of 1808 which is good score. In the last beta build we didn't test the OpenGL graphics API performance. So next I did the Vulcan Graphics API test and I got the score of 2475. In the old beta build we got the score of 2543. I did one more test to reconfirm the results. In the next test we got nearly same results like the old beta update. So overall numerical performance of this ROM is same for the both the stable and beta build. But the real life user's experience for the stable build is another level. Phone is just flying on the fingertips. Now let's check out the changes or additional features added by the Paranoid team. If you go to the setting, there under the display and under the status bar icon manager option, we get lots of additional status bar icon toggles which was not previously available. In the same display setting, we get the tap to check and lift to check setting. First one was already present in the old build but second is the new update, it's amazing feature. I tested it and it's working properly without any issues. Always on fingerprint toggle enables the fingerprint icon on the lock screen all the time even during the pocket mode. Under the system and gesture, all the pixel gesture settings are available but there is another screen of gesture tab is also available here but for now it has no setting available. It will be added in the upcoming builds. Let's check out the Glyph Light setting. Glyph Light didn't have any new additional feature. But some old issues regarding the glyph light are fixed here. We guess the flip to glyph but it has some bugs that we will discuss in the bug section. Call and the notification glyph animations are working. 
it has this same glyph animation for the both the notification and calls battery charging indicator is working now in the old build it was buggy new build has the unlimited photo backup working but for the old build it was not available as snack 58 is already passing for the both the stable and beta updates bug of ult incoming and outgoing calls has been fixed here they are working properly now even call recording function is available and working in the dialer which was missing in the old build who gets the call recording and the call lock section the annoying issue of the mic during the calls is completely fixed now we can hear and reply on the calls without any issues sad part is that rom didn't have the nothing was camera like other roms we only get the google go camera which is pretty basic so i used a gcam mdc build here night mode is working portrait mode for the both the front and the back camera is working and it has pretty nice blur strength in the photos you get the lots of setting for the fine tuning your pictures like the hdr plus mode with the frame control ultra wide camera angles are working video recording at the 4k 60fps is not working only 180p 60fps is available slow motion is working but while shooting slow motion recording for few initial seconds camera get freezes and within a second it works again automatically but that causes the partial recording time lapse is working fine panorama and photosphere modes are working fine so camera still needs improvement but team has to add nothing os camera because it has more working functions and more quality as compared to the gcam now let's check out the thermal performance of the device i ran the cpu throttle for the 5 minutes on the 20 threads initially all went fine no single yellow or the red lines i found on the graph but after 2 and 1/2 minutes immediately all yellow graph lines started which were continued till the end of the test when i stopped the test i got the score of 74% it's very bad score if we check the beta 1 topaz build there we got the score of 93% Reason behind this may be old beta was based on the nothing was 1.5 which has better CPU throttling capability while the new stable is based on the 1.5.1 which has bad CPU throttling capability so developer needs to fix this issue now it's time to show you some minor issues first is present in all the custom rom that is wide wine is on L3 so we can't able to stream the Netflix and the Amazon Prime at the full HD resolution Actually old beta 1 was on the L1 security which was breaked this time. Next issue is regarding the flip to glyph. It sometimes works and sometimes glyph light animations stuck randomly. This may also happens for any incoming notifications when phone is placed in top down mode. These are the only few minor bugs rest is all fine. Overall I can say this rom has some missing features like nothing camera if developers will add that in this build then paranoid android will be the first rank in my favorite custom rom list for the nothing phone one that is for today guys if you think this video help you then please do like and share this video subscribe our channel press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content thanks for watching see you next time take care bye bye